Hello again and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis. So if you can cast your mind back to a couple of videos ago, I did a unpackaging of some stuff that I'd purchased from the Virtual Doll Convention. And it was all for stuff that I bought for Ellen Wild, of course. And in that package, there was a surprise bag, which Rachel Hoffman from the Virtual Doll Convention had very kindly sent to me to open on the channel. So a huge thank you to her. This is the parcel here. Uh, I'm quite excited. I don't really know what's in there specifically. I have some ideas because I can kind of see things through the plastic, but we're gonna open that together. I'm also gonna put a link down in the description box to the video where I opened my purchases, as well as Rachel Hoffman's YouTube channel and also the website for the Virtual Dog Convention where you'll find Lots of information on the Virtual Doll Convention, as well as Elwyn and Nima and Grace, who are the Robert Toner dolls, which are sold exclusively through the Virtual Doll Convention, as well as items you can purchase for those dolls as well. So without further ado, I'm going to open this and I'm going to lay the stuff out and we're going to have a look at this stuff together. So here we go. Here are the items from the bag. There's quite a lot of them and I'm very surprised to find two wigs in there as well, which I'm quite excited about, to be honest. So because of that, I think I'll probably leave the wigs until the end, but let's have a look at the other stuff first. Let's have a look at the stuff that's already kind of not bagged up, basically. So there is a kind of Chanel bag here. I don't really have any sort of bags for for Elwyn, so this will be this will be a nice addition to her wardrobe for sure. It's got this sort of chain handle here. Um, it doesn't open or anything, but that's fine. It's got a kind of quilted detail on the front, and it's got the, the sort of CC buckle on the front there. So that is that. Okay, so we've then got these items. So these are these are both wooden, which is is quite nice. We have a, a bowl here, so it could be like a mixing bowl. And we've also got a rolling pin. So these are gonna be nice in pictures, I think. And the bowl could be used literally for anything. So you could get some like quarter scale bit sort of fruit and put them in there or, you know, beads or something, something kind of nice in the background. And obviously, you know, even Halloween Wild has to eat at some point. So, you know, she might be baking and stuff. Also, I think which, what goes with this is also this, which is some Play-Doh. So this sort of looks like it could be some sort of dough that she's been baking with, maybe. Maybe it's like red velvet cake or something. So that is that. Is that. Also to go with this, there are these. So this, I think, is an apron and glove, oven gloves. So we'll open these now. Oh, this is very pretty already. Oh, okay, the oven gloves are separate. Right, so. So this is actually a really nice apron. It's obviously red and white, and we've got these flower motifs on the pockets, which are, yeah, which are workable. There we go. So the pockets are there. It goes around the neck at the top and then you will just tie it at the back. So similarly to other items which I've I've bought from the Elowin and Nima boutique, all this stuff is very nicely made. So there are no raw edges, everything's very, very nicely sewn up together. It's a really interesting piece. I think it will be very nice, obviously over a sort of like a, a vintage sort of 50s dress, because it does it does give me lots of vintage vibes, which obviously, you know, I love anyway. So I think that would be, that would be nice with, with a nice long dress on. And I like the whole sort of shape of it. This bottom part here reminds me of the shape of a tulip in a way. And to match the apron, we have got these, which are the oven gloves. So let's open those. So again, they kind of match the apron because they've they've made of the same material and they've got the same flower motif on them there as well. So that is kind of like, that's kind of the baking section in a way. So all of that stuff there. So I also have got to show you this. This is um, a coaster. I got one of these as well with my purchases the last time. So um, I might actually use one of them. 
as I was worried about kind of messing it up. But if I've got two, I've kind of got a spare one then as well, haven't I? So it says, screw this, I'm buying more dolls. And again, it's that whole very, very sort of vintage look, which I really like. There's then this. So this is, by the looks of it, a face mask. So let's open this and have a look. So this is very cute. So this is a red polka dot on, on white fabric. And then we've got this sort of pink lace, which you would use to kind of tie it around, around the doll's head. So that's an eye mask for when she's obviously, you know, she's, she's trying to get a good night's sleep. I've then got this. So this is a pair of shorts by the looks of it. Let's open this up. So this is a nice olive green colour and we've got these sort of stripes going through it. So there's a yellow and a pink stripe and blue as well. That's quite cute. And it also gives another option to sort of team it with, with something else. I've then got this, which is, I think it's like a bow. I don't know if it's gonna fit, fit her hair. Oh yeah, there's a kind of a grip thing on the back. So it's a deep red or maroon color. Obviously it's a perfect bow and we've got kind of nice sort of peaks there at the end of the ribbon bits there. And we have a grip at the back, which I'm presuming is gonna just sort of slot into her hair. So that's gonna be nice. Um, it's kind of nice to have accessories that you can put with other things as well. So I, th I think that's gonna, that's gonna be pretty good, especially with the color of it. It might go with quite a lot. So that is, that is the bow. And then finally we have got these two. Okay, so we've got a blonde wig here and an orange wig here. Let's let's have a look at the orange one first. So if you remember in the last video, I kind of bought her an orange bob. This one is different. Okay, so I don't know if this orange is a different orange. It might be a little bit. It feels very nice actually. So it's got a bit of a, a curl in it as well. So it's not just sort of like a straight, a straight long wig. But what's very cute is at the front here, we've got two space buns. So I think that's gonna look really cute on her. Obviously it needs a little bit of a brush because it's been it's been packaged up. There were lots of different versions of this in other colours, but I actually quite like this colour. Obviously, you know, I like orange anyway. So I think that will look good on her. And also it's quite different to the hair that she already has. So that is, that is the first one. And the second one is a blonde wig here. Now, obviously she is already a blonde, but I think this, this blonde looks slightly more sort of lemony, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, and there's a bit more curl to this as well by the looks of it. Yeah, so I think it's kind of got curls and it's got a bit of sort of layering in it as well. Um, the one she has at the moment basically has a straight sort of fringe and the rest of it is all one length at the back. This is slightly different and I, I'm pretty sure the colour also of this is a different kind of blonde. I don't know if you're going to see it on camera or not, but certainly looking at it in real life, it does look a bit more sort of yellowy rather than the other one, which seems a bit more sort of white. But as I say, I don't know if you're going to be able to notice that or, or not. And there is kind of like curls in the back and it feels kind of more layered. So this is going to be interesting to see her in this as well. So I am going to grab Elwyn and I'm going to put her in some looks using the stuff that we've had today. And yeah, let, let's have a look and see what we think of her. So I've put Elwyn in that big poofy kind of net skirt that I got from from eBay only because I thought the shape of it would really sort of emphasize the apron and that whole kind of like 50s housewife look. The apron fits her really nicely and I think it really does help having that shape underneath as well. 
I realised the realities of being a 50s housewife was probably not very glamorous, but there's just something about this whole look which just gives it a real kind of glamorous feel, I think. So that is the apron, and as you can see, I have put the oven gloves on as well. There we go. So obviously she's just going to pop to the oven and get, get the cookies out that she's been baking. So I've also put the ribbon in the back of her head there. So it basically just kind of like slots in and out. She basically just sort of took it in and then the grip kind of does, does the rest of it. So that's great. Um, obviously the red is slightly different to the red of, of the actual apron, but it's just to kind of show you, show you that. I mean, you could also put it, I guess, at the side of her head as well. I mean, it could literally go anywhere. If it was just kind of an accessory, you could literally kind of put it anywhere on her and it would kind of draw an outfit together. Equally, I mean, if you had something where you needed a bow, I mean, I'm not sure how you'd, how you would affix it, but you could kind of also put it on her clothing as well depending on, on what kind of material it was and obviously the, the cut of it as well. This is kind of resting just on the, the, the V of the colour. So I thought I would just quickly show you her with the face mask on. Obviously ignore the outfit because if she had that on, she'd be relaxing. She wouldn't be sitting around with her, with her apron or overall on or anything like that. So that is her with her face mask on. Okay, so I've now put her in the... The blonde wig, now I don't know if you can tell, but it is it is kind of a darker blonde or a kind of more yellowy blonde. This is the the original one. Um, if I put it next to it, hopefully you can kind of see that there is actually quite a marked difference. This one here is a lot lighter and this one here has got kind of like more of sort of a yellow tone to it. It's a lot choppier as well and I think it might look nice sort of in an updo or something because it's got sort of shorter bits which you can kind of use to frame the face. And if I show you the back of it, there are a few sort of like curls and things like that in it which gives it a bit more sort of body rather than it just being kind of flat. So that is, that is the wig. Again, I've put the bow in the side of her head. She's actually giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes with this. She's also holding the handbag. There we go. And yeah, I'm actually really pleased. Um, I wasn't sure about having another blonde wig, but the fact that it is actually quite a different style. Also, you know, it might be nice if it was like in bunches maybe on the side, or, you know, as I say, if I, if I put it up in something and then have these bits sort of down framing the face and other kind of longer tendrils maybe out so yeah so that is that look there and then finally we have this look so this is the orange wig with the space buns I do really like the colour I like the style as well I think I might just need to have to practice how it's going on her head because at the moment it looks a little bit a little bit too wiggy I think I think because it doesn't have um, any fringe to it it might kind of look a bit odd around the forehead so I kind of need to need to have a bit of a play with it also obviously you know it's been it's been in packaging for a while so it does need time to kind of fluff up a bit but I do really like the way it looks and I love the colour of it obviously so here we go this is kind of the rest of the look so obviously she's got the shorts on the shorts fit very well, they're a nice length on her, and I like the fact that they've got the the yellow running through it and the blue and also the sort of the pink because it does mean that you can team it with things of that colour and it won't look really weird. Um, obviously I've kind of gone against most of that because I've given her the sequin dress that she came with originally, but I've kind of rolled it under so that it looks a bit shorter and it doesn't obscure the, the shorts too much. I think that works pretty well. She also got this little jumper, sorry, this little cardigan that, that I knitted that she's wearing there. That's kind of like a mauvey colour, so it's almost like the pink. And I have given her a, a mini fashion handbag as well, which I think actually works pretty well too. And she's got her, her regular shoes on there. They're the, one, they're the ones she came with, so they kind of match the top. So, there she is. Let me know what you think of her. 
and her different looks and all the kind of the items that that we got in the surprise bag in the comments down below again a big thank you to Rachel Hoffman of the Virtual Doll Convention for sending me the mystery bag it was actually a lot of fun and I was really surprised with some of the stuff that I got in there I wasn't expecting two lots of wigs for instance so that was that was a real joy and it's just nice getting things that you're not really expecting that you might not choose but actually work really well like the apron for instance if you've enjoyed the video please remember to give it a like please share the video and also if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video so until the next time from me and Miss Elwyn here have a great week bye